Should I say good evening? Yeah. It's a six area. <laughs> good evening, everybody. And thank you very much for coming in spite of the very hot temperature and monkeying temperature, which I hate most. I don't like the hot temperatures. But anyway, uh, as Robin already uh, spoke about the Kosovo and the Albania and the Balkans and so and so, but before I speak, get into these topics, let me introduce myself, okay? My name is Otsuka. Otsuka literally means, O means great, big, gigantic, whatever, what else? Anyway, <laughs> something big. Tsuka literally means tomb, tombstone. That means my family name indicates my destiny to revive the king and queens in the tombs or some high level of the political leaders to revive or something. That's the Asian understanding. This is nothing to do with you. But anyway, my family name is a great tomb. Probably my ancestor did something <laughs> great in the past. So I checked it and found nothing anyway. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Since after I came to know our Dr. Moon and Mrs. Moon, uh, 50 years have passed. In this 50 years, in the half century, I visited more, more than 110 countries and areas for this peace movement. And I invested a huge energy for Russia. I stayed there for long. And China is my favorite country also. And I was assigned to work in Africa. And the Africa became my third or fourth hometown in my mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm introducing myself. I'm a half Russian, half African, so-called cafe au lait or something. <laughs> Unity or the, the harmony of all people in, in this world, in this world, is my hope. And I truly appreciate it to the Dr. Moon and the Mrs. Moon, their views of the history and their views for the world peace these are fantastic indeed. Speaking all these, sharing or introducing all these ideas, I was so amazed. Not only a Korean, but also the enemy country in Japan, he, they received lots of supporters. They could make good supporters in Japan, even in Japan. Even in Taiwan, we have a lot big foundation in Latin America, this was very surprising. That means that our uh, Dr. Moon's ideology, the thought for peace, must have something to learn. That's what I have in my mind. I'm always speaking something, all these, to, uh, to the leader of the world. Okay, and then I just came back from the country, the esteemed country of Kosovo, after finishing the event in, Prist in Pristina, a very beautiful city, very tiny, but very beautiful city, peaceful city. We have to change the image of Kosovo. We are trying to work to, to change uh, the image of Kosovo. In case of Japan, two women changed the image of Kosovo dramatically. D do you know? Female judo athlete won the gold, gold medal in Tokyo Olympic. Oh, we are so surprised at that. In terms of the judo, judo, Japan is the mother country of judo. Now our main enemy is France. <laughs> Linnell is our main enemy to defeat. But now we have to see another <laughs> country, Kosovo. So strong. Their fighting spirit is very strong. And also the, their sense of so-called pride of Pride other than the Kosovian, how, how should I say? Uh, people of Kosovo was very fantastic indeed. And their attitude in Tokyo Olympic attracted many Japanese. They're very kind and very uh, uh, following the uh, kind of the judo etiquette mm -hmm. in their fighting. Mm -hmm. That's why we love them very much. But we are not hoping them to become bigger or stronger, <laughs> but anyway. Just only a two women, women changed the image of Kosovo dramatically. That is why 
We can make it. Even the one person, one single person can change the image of the one country and change the image of peace. Or even for creating or establishing the peace of, of the world, we can, do, we can do it. We can do something. That is why before I introduce uh, the, uh, our activities in Balkans, let me share the one words by John Lennon. He said, if you dream alone, that is just a dream. But if we can dream together, that will be a reality. I strongly believe these words. Yes, if we can share the same dream of peace, we can establish something concrete. That we have to do. Beyond all, all differences, and all difficulties, let us share the same dream. Thank you very much. Okay, back to the Kosovo. Since after the UPF installed many activities into uh, the Albanian, Albania, and then after move, we moved to the country of Kosovo. Uh, you know that in the 90s, uh, they have a very severe or tough bloodshed in the so-called so former Yugoslavian nations. That is still, still there fighting in a way, but, but the peace is gradually establishing one by one. But politically, economically, in many ways, these former Yugosla Yugoslavian country has a lot of difficulties to overcome. But before we organized the Balkan Leadership Conference in Pristina, Kosovo, Prime Minister Kruti, Kruti met the Prime Minister of Germany, and they agreed to, to apply to the, the EU, or no, NATO, EU first. And then they also the, the country of Kosovo will apply to the NATO and the EU, UN too. This is a very big one step. This is just, just one small step? No, I don't think so. It's a very great step for the history of Albanian people in Kosovo and Albania. Doing so, the peace in the Balkan is gradually, gradually proceeding. Peace building activities in Balkan is proceeding. And then the UPF, how we, can we contribute for peace building in the Balkans? First, our mother moons, the hope for us is to deepen the exchange, to deepen the exchange and to widen the exchange. That is why we invited Serbian delegates to the Kosovo conference, conference in Kosovo. That conference was supported by the government of Kosovo and the Prime Minister Kuluti spoke in public. Of course, President Moisiu and the President Sediu from Kosovo and former President of Croatia message also spoke in public strongly about Kosovo. They all expressed their support to the country of Kosovo. Yet, we invited the delegates from Serbia. Of course, we know there are some negativities to this kind of uh, conference in Serbia, but we have to keep doing it. We have to keep expanding our exchange. The UPF always focusing on the dialogue, exchange, with the heart of empathy, not sympathy, empathy and togetherness and the shareness. Based on these feelings and the philosophies, we organized the event in Pristina. Oh, I was so deeply appreciated to the, the Kosovo press, press media, how do you call it, news agency in Kosovo. They fully supported us and made a live cast broadcasting in, in, in the city of Pristina, that is also very good. They are also hoping to connect to the international media circles. And then that is why the, we invited the, the head of the Washington Times to the Pristina. They had a very good talk. This is a reality. This is what we did in that city of Pristina. I'm deeply appreciating that the part of the expense was covered by the government of Kosovo. 
and deeply appreciated to that. At the same time, our international headquarters is working in Africa, in particularly in Senegal and Niger. They are trying to make a peace building work there. There are the Islamic extremists who are there. There are so many issues around in Africa. But for promoting the peace building work in Africa, IHQ, uh, uh, no, UPF International Headquarters has deeply involved in that process. Another project is Cambodia, Eastern Asia, Eastern South Asia. This is another. Oh, these are the all so-called hot spots, hot spots of conflict. UPF always goes to those hot spots of conflict to send the peace message. I think, I think, strongly believe that the Balkan country, Western Balkan nation, is a very good place to send the peace message to the world. If they can send out the peace message to the world, the people of the world will be very surprised and will be very impressed by the peace message from the Balkans. That we are working on. I think this will go well and with all your support, we can do more in Ukraine, in Taiwan, and even in Korea. This is necessary. Another hot spot in Asia is now in Taiwan and Korean Peninsula. After the, the Russian aggression to Ukraine, all of a sudden, Taiwan issue became a hot issue now in Asia. Korean Peninsula is the same. In case of Korea, new president, so-called conservative president, took office and he started to reorganize the countries. That will work well, that will work well, and we can realize someday soon our mother moon's visit to North Korea. That will be a kind of the kickoff of the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. I'm hoping so. But of course you know well that the vision to North Korea is not an easy task. But we can make it with the new president, so Song Yong Yoon. We are hoping to work with them, and we are hoping that they can work together with us. Yeah, that was new changes or new, new phase of the political, international politics of the East Asia that we, are, we have now here. And the UPF Korea has been expanding, expanding their foundation into the local levels, as, as well as the, our Ambassador for Peace Council was established. Almost all cities in, the, in the Albania, even in the Kosovo, we have a lot of so-called peace councils in the, in the country of Albania. They are operating by themselves, by their own expenses. This is a big surprise to us. But anyway, the same thing is happening in the Korean Peninsula. That's why the, the mobilizing all these peacemakers, mobilizing all peace knowledges, I hope that we can establish the peace of the world, in the world, including the Ukraine, including Africa and other countries, wherever UP will work, UPF will work together with UN and also with all of you. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Lobby, is this okay? Thank you very much. Yeah. If you remember the meaning of my family name, I will be very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you.